Hi to the Swiss volley family. As you are not allowed to practice with your teams, the Swiss volley national coaches will take over your practice for the next couple of weeks. Every Monday we show you the program of the week and it's a pleasure for me to start with this week's exercises. Okay guys, let's start with the three small exercises to set the ball because we haven't to lose our confidence with the ball. So this exercise, this first exercise is to set the ball on the wall one time with two hands and one time with one hand and with the other hand you have to touch the ball. Something like that. Okay, we can do the same exercise uh, uh, every time faster and faster to work with the fingertips of the 10 fingers and with the wrist a lot more. So, and now the second exercise to set the ball. We go on the wall and we set the ball and we turn over 360 degrees one side and other side. It's really important to learn to control the ball every time I set the ball. Eh? Last one exercise is up the set. You have to set the ball three times up and three times down. Maybe try to set a little bit better than me. Now guys, let's see some exercises uh, to work the ball uh, in bagger. The first one is this one. You can work the ball three times and three times, uh, two times, two times, one time, one time. Your fantasy. Doesn't matter uh, how many times. Most important thing is that the arm has to be straight and you have to touch the ball in this part of uh, your arm. You can do the same exercise on the wall, something like that. One time. And go. Another possible variation to this exercise is uh, this one. Another exercise for a bagger in which we associate the movement of the arm with the movement of the legs is this one. In this exercise you have to be on the floor with the right knee and with the left knee every time. But the most important thing here and every time you are working with bagger is to try to have the area of rebound as flat as possible. This is the most important thing. It doesn't matter how you grip, you can grip in the classical way, you can grip something like that, you can open, you can also do that to receive. But the most important thing is to be flat in the area of rebound. The grip is only 
a consequence. Only in this way you can do a good reception also with really strong services. And now a few exercises uh, for the movements of block. It's really important that these movements become automatic because when uh, one movement is automatic uh, is uh, for sure more precisious and uh, also really fast. Now we see the three main exercises uh, for the movements, uh, the technical movements of block. The first one uh, is uh, to block first tempo and uh, we will work with the read block of the first tempo. So the position, the starting position will be with the legs a little bit bent, the hand same eight of the face and from this position we have to jump immediately without go down before. So we have uh, our wall here, this is the position and immediately go up. Not this one for re-block but immediately go up. We can do counter movement only when we decide to block first tempo before then the setter set the ball in first tempo. With coming block, option three, so we can do something like that. But read block is the first exercise without counter movement of the legs. The second exercise is a cross step jump that uh, middle position two on position four can do when the ball is set into on four. So the starting position is the same of the one for read block. So position and from this position I have to cross immediately and to jump. So from this position cross immediately and to jump. Most important thing is uh, to fall down in the same position in which I jumped before. So don't slide. Two last things uh, about uh, block, uh, mainly in the last two exercises, it's important that when I jump uh, all the upper body is uh, really tense not only hand, not only arms, not only shoulders, but all the upper part of the body has to be really tense because when the ball takes our hand, has to go faster on the floor, in the other side of the court, obviously. And the second thing is to try to take the banana position, so not straight, but something like that, and so when I work here, I have to touch hand and foot on the wall to be sure that I have banana position in the right way.